orbital nerve block in a case of frozen shoulder left side so in this patient i have already marked the acromion and the base of the spine and this line indicate the midpoint this line indicate the direction of the scapular spine so i have taken a midpoint of this line and 2 cm up and 2 cm medial is the site for entry of the needle the angle of the needle is 45 degree here and i have taken 9 cm long 23 gauge spinal needle short gauge needle so now tip at this depth depth is about 5 cm the needle touch the the floor of the just above the spine of the scapula right and there is no resistance and all the rotate the needle as per it to avoid the accidental intravascular injection rotate as per it inject rotate as per it and inject now the I have filled 5 ml syringe with which I am injected to block the, the supra orbital nerve on the left side and this nerve is responsible for 70% of the pain sensation. this block is complete so about 5 cm and see there is regular station of the fluid that indicates that it is in the facial plane rather than inside the muscles so this is again a diagnostic sign that I have injected in a proper loose aerolar plane and this fluid will migrate towards the supraorbital nerve